Hello, this is Thermochemistry 103, and we're talking about Hess's Law today. And this is just part one, introduction. Your assignment is listed here, AP Heat 3 Worksheet. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so we want to start off with a couple of main points before we get to the actual law of Hess's Law. And so point number one, um, so we'll call this just uh, pre-law points. Okay, so point number one um, is this. If we know a reaction like this, A makes B, and we know the heat of reaction is equal to 100 kilojoules, um, then we can also say a couple other things. We can say that um, B making A, that the delta H is equal to negative 100 kilojoules. So um, in words, we would say that the reverse reaction has um, opposite sign delta H. So you can see um, we went from positive 100 here to negative 100 when I flipped the reaction around. And we can also say um, 2A making 2B that the delta H would be 200 kilojoules. So in words, we would say if we multiply um, the reaction by n, whatever number we're multiplying by. Uh, then we also multiply um, the delta H by n. So you can see here, um, this reaction is related to this reaction, and that this is twice this one. And so the delta H is two times that one. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay, and then uh, point number two is that um, you can add chemical reactions together and I always think of it like systems and math. and combine like terms. Okay, so when I say like terms, um, I mean when we talk about uh, the same substance and same state of matter. So you couldn't combine um, a liquid water and a gas water uh, because they're in a different state of matter. But if you had two liquid waters um, on uh, the same side of the equation, you could combine that to say two H2O instead of two separate H2Os. So for example, oh, let me my pen here. Um, we could say if we had A plus B makes C, and we were asked to add that together with C making D. Emmett, Emmett. Um, if we were finding the sum of that, those two equations, um, because they're across the arrow from each other, these two C's would cancel, and we would end up with A plus B makes D. Um, you could also say if you had A making um, 2B, adding together with B making 2, or B making C, um, because they're on opposite sides of the arrow, um, we could cancel one of those Bs, and so we would end up with A making B plus C. Okay, so um, those are the pre-law points. And so here comes Hess's law, it's pretty simple. So Hess's law says 
that um, if reaction one plus reaction two is equal to reaction three, so if we can show that two reactions or three reactions or four reactions add together to give us a final reaction, then we would also know that the heat of reaction one plus the heat of reaction two is equal to the heat of reaction three. So if the reactions sum together to give us um, one reaction, then the sum of their heats will also give us the um, delta H for the final reaction. Okay, so um, things that you wanna remember when you're working with um, Hess's Law is that you have a target equation. Or a to Um So when you have a target equation, or the target equation is the one you're trying to find the delta H for. And then you are also gonna have working equations And these will be the ones that you um, flip and multiply to add to get the target equation. So you have target equations and working equations. Um, in my example over here, the target equation would be reaction three as an example, and the working equations would be reactions one and reactions two here. Um, there may be more than two working equations. In some cases, there may be three or four, um, but it just depends on the specific example. And we'll come back with um, an example in part two. Okay, thanks.